Hey everybody, James DeWire here, and this is your market report for the Halifax Dartmouth real estate market for the month ending April 2018, where we're going to be looking at three key components of the marketplace, total sales, active and existing listings, and days on market. So let's begin. In April of 2018, we've had 569 total sales. In comparison to 2017, where we have 503 sales, our sales for the month of April have increased by 13.1%. And then when we look at sales from January until April for the whole year of 2018 to date, what we have is a total of 1,682 sales. And when in comparison to this time last year from January to April, we had total sales of 1,486. That's actually an increase of 13.2% in sales. Those are incredible numbers to see double digits in our particular market. Now moving on to active and new listings. This is a particular topic that I've been following since January, as we've seen decreases in the number of listings that have been coming on the marketplace leading up until this date. In April of this year, we've seen 1,093 new listings come on the marketplace. In comparison to 2017, we actually had 1,056 listings come on the marketplace. That's an increase of 3.5% comparing April to April of the previous year. But when we look at it from the whole from January until April, Total listings are 3,332 listings. And in comparison to 2017 from January until April, we had 3,404 listings on the marketplace. That's still a decrease of 2.1% and is continuing the trend of the lack of listings that are coming on the market which brings us to months of inventory. And as of 2018, in the month of April, we're now sitting at 6.5 months of inventory. And remember, a true balanced market, the comfort zone for the real estate market, will be between four and six months of inventory. So we're right on the cusp of that particular number. And in comparison to this time last year, 2007, we were sitting at 8.5 months of inventory. Again, we're seeing an increase in sales, and more importantly, a decrease in the number of listings that are coming on the marketplace, and hence why we're seeing a decrease in those particular numbers. With that being said, the real estate market as a whole for the country, the Korean numbers have just come out, and that's the Canadian Real Estate Associations. And what they've come out with, they've seen sales countrywide plunge 13.9%, which is a stark contrast to our particular market at this time. And sales overall on the country has dropped to its lowest levels in seven years. It seems that Halifax and Dartmouth are having a little bit of a buffer zone for protection of our particular market. Now, what's driving this particular scenario? Well, a lot of it's relating back to the stress tests um, that have come out in January and the previous January in 2017. And what it's really impacting is not necessarily first time home buyers. They're gonna buy regardless of what they can afford. Where it's really having an impact is people looking to make the jump from the first home to the forever home. And in, with previous numbers, the, they may not be in a position where they can afford to purchase that new home. So if you've got questions about your particular neighborhood, feel free to reach out to me. Once again, my name is James DeWire and thank you for watching.